today's video, I am Matthew Johnson Field, alongside my fellow Empowered School founder, Ma'am Cheryl Sanders. Thank you. Here at Empowered, we strive to help women and young girls build confidence and find their inner strength through empowerment and defense training. In today's video, we are going to show you how to defend yourself from an attacker who may use your backpack as a way to out overpower you and pull you in their direction. First, we're going to start with a grab from behind. Okay, so in this scenario, he's going to grab my backpack to pull me away. So what I like to do, I'm going to trap the arm, take control. Now he can't move. I'm going to use my elbow, quick strike to the head, push, take off. And yeah, remember, all the techniques that we're showing you is designed to create space from your attacker so you can get away, not to stand there and fight. Second attack is going to be from behind, but shoulder strap is going to be over one shoulder this time. In this case, Master Jonathan's going to grab one strap from my backpack to pull me back. Now the quick solution here would just be let go of your bag and take off. If you, if you don't have that option, you can do a quick strike, quick strike to the face, nose, throat, it could be an elbow, you can push them, take off, right? Push them one time. So yeah, yeah, typically you might be lucky to get away by releasing the backpack, but for some reason you get tangled up, which could happen, then you're going to have to physically defend yourself. Um, the elbow, the throat, push. Run. Third attack is going to be coming from the side with both shoulder straps over your shoulders. So uh, if you're grabbed from the side, side strap, you can trap the arm, do a basic strike, again, could be to the head, could be a knee to the body, or you could even kick out the knee. Next, I would push them off and take off. If you're a little more advanced, you can also do a wrist lock in the variation. So it would be a similar thing, I would trap the arm. I would do a basic strike or a knee, and then you could take it, take his hand, put him in a basic wrist lock to take him down, just to give you enough time to get away. Before we get into the next technique, make sure you click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. This will help Cheryl and I with our goal of serving over 1 million women and girls worldwide. Now, the fourth scenario is grab from the side where you're wearing your fast pack over one shoulder. So in this scenario, it's where we're being grabbed with one strap over our shoulder. This is very similar to the last technique we did. So again, simplest thing would be just to let go. We don't want to fight, we just want to get away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives Hold you a chance to run. <laughs> Next, if you can't get away, they grab you. Maybe they've got your hair like he has mine at the same time as he grabs my strap. I'm going to do something similar thing as I did last time. Trap his arm. Quick strike, it could be a knee, it could be an elbow, it could be a palm, any of those sensitive areas to the face. Push and take off. Just want to buy yourself enough time to get away. And we want to stress that and almost every technique we do is to create the opportunity for you to escape and not to fight. Fifth is when an attacker grabs your backpack by the shoulder strap. This scenario, this is when you're grabbed facing forward by both straps. Now you're really isolated in this position, right? You, you can't just run away. So again, I like to trap, basic strike, and then peel off. So okay, now one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is actually a uh, similar technique if somebody were to grab your shirt or lapel or a coat. Right, so you want to control one of the arms. Now I want to do a basic strike. Could be nose, throat, eyes, all of them are sensitive. Push, take off. And also don't forget the groin shot. Never forget how easy it is to strike the groin in that position. Second last one we're going to cover in this video is when somebody grabs your bag from your hand. Okay, so in this case, this is when somebody is just, they, they're grabbing your bag while you're holding it in front of you, for example, it could be a purse, it could be a backpack. Someone comes up, grabs the bag. Again, first thing to do is just like let it go, right? There's nothing, there's nothing in any bag that is that valuable that you can't just let it go. 
Now, if it was a case where, I don't know, maybe they grabbed your jacket with your, with your backpack, now they're pulling you with the bag. Now you're gonna have to throw a defensive strike just to buy yourself time to get out of there. So in this case, another, another good strike could be open hand palm to the ear. So he's pulling me right to the ear, should sting enough to give you enough time to take off. Drop the bag and leave. Don't worry about the bag. Yeah, the striking of the ear with an open palm can act uh, first the eardrum and cause an instant headache and instant ringing on the ear. And pretty much anything is going to instantly cover up. So they're not even going to see what you're doing. Lastly, what to do when someone is approaching you and you have your backpack in your hands. So in this scenario, this is when somebody, uh, you may feel an intimidating presence coming at you, something doesn't feel right, they're approaching you, and uh, the easiest thing is use your bag as your weapon. You can just throw it, give yourself time to take off. This is a physical barrier. Anytime you just put a barrier between yourself and the attacker, more than barrier. One more time. So if I'm approaching. Okay, so again, if he's approaching me, I'm feeling intimidated, I take my bag, throw it at him, and take off. Even though I know the bag's coming at me, I still want to react. So if somebody is not expecting that, it's going to cause a reaction. And when your attacker has a reaction, that allows you to escape. Those were just seven of the common situations you may find yourself in if you were ever attacked or grabbed while wearing your backpack or bag. We strongly recommend leaving the situation as soon as you can and go tell a trusted adult or a sorting figure or even a teacher or a police officer. As you saw, all the defenses were simple to perform. We used basic strikes and were designed to separate you from the attacker so you can escape the situation relatively unharmed. For more content like this, check out the playlist to your right, and remember, you have the right to defend yourself, and you are worth defending.